What up, YouTube? I'm coming to y'all with a different type of content today, man. Uh, I'm going to just show y'all, like, how I be icing shoes. And like, this is probably, like, the most, like, the comment I get the most. People asking, like, what I use, um, how I do it, like, the full, like, process. I guess that like, people be thinking, like, it's just something simple, but it's, like, a whole process to it. So I'm going to really just show y'all everything I got and, like, everything, like, you got to do for real. This my, um, this my ice box right here. Hang on, like, this junk. Like the first ice box I ever made, I still use this junk. I literally just covered this junk in aluminum foil. I done seen people do like a cardboard box, but this like a, um, what you call this? You see a tight box, man. But you literally cover like the full thing full of aluminum foil. Um, on the top of it, you just cut a hole that's big enough to be able to fit your light. I'm gonna show you the light in a minute, but this my light. I'm on the blind eye. But you see the light. You don't want to cut your hole big enough to like where this falls through. You want this to be able to set on the top. If you cut the hole too big, this is gonna keep falling right through. You see, I didn't have to like um, <laughs> manufacture mine because my hole was too big at first. So I had to put like this cardboard box. You can see that time right here. So that's what it's really like, because my hole was too big at first. This right here, the light I got right here. I got off Amazon, paid $60. I know y'all was gonna be asking for it, but this the light right here. This right here is a sauce I use. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't use, this like the first sauce I used, but I didn't start using like something else called Sneaker Bar, but I'm out of it right now. But Salon Care 40, like my always, like my backup. You see, I didn't already like did these. I'm gonna show y'all like the process of these right here. I'm finna do these for y'all. Like 11s, I ain't gonna lie, 11s probably like the easiest shoe to ice for me, for real. Want to go ahead and show y'all the shoes because I know the results gonna be crazy. Y'all ain't gonna believe it. This the before right here. Uh, -uh. all you need, like I said, the Salon Care 40. I pour mine inside this little tube just to make it come out a little easier for me. Uh, some Saran wrap just to wrap the shoes up. I use a paintbrush. I ain't gonna lie. In the beginning, I was using a toothbrush. Toothbrush ain't really work like this though. This works for sure. All right, I laid my two pieces of um Saran wrap out. And like, I forgot to tell y'all, like, you got to deep clean, like, the bottom of the soles before, like, you start, like, a dirty bottom, you're not going to get no good results. You're not going to get no crazy results if the bottom and everything's still dirty. So you want to clean, scrub, like, actually scrub the bottom with the cleaner, like, whatever shoe cleaner you use to scrub the bottom and make sure there ain't no debris, no dirt, no rocks, none of that in there. Next, ain't gonna lie, after I, um, after I clean everything, I put acetone, like, just to get any kind of, like, like extra dirt or anything that was on it. I done did it already, so I ain't gonna go too crazy, but literally put like a little bit of acetone and just scrub, like, not scrubbing, but you feel me? Like just getting in the crevices of all the little dirt. I ain't like acetone work crazy for me. Like all type of little mark that you will see on the shoe, I promise you will be like, use a little bit because acetone crazy. Like it'll, it'll damage the shoe, but it worked like for like little marks or scuffs that be on the shoe. All right, um, this is me putting the sauce all over the shoe. You want to get a nice little even coat. Uh, come right behind it with your paintbrush and just like evenly, evenly spread that junk. All right, this right here, like an even coat. I don't like evenly coat it. Um, if you got some like dripping, you want to wipe that up, like use a cloth and wipe that up. Like, cause you, cause if you're using like fives or sixes, you icing fives or sixes. If this ice like leak on the suede or whatever it is right here, you're going to see some crazy on like some you're not able to fix and you're going to damage the shoe. You just wrap that junk up to keep it sealed. Uh, the saran wrap just keep the ice from like drying up fast. So you want to like completely seal it like this to go in the ice box. All right, I got these in there right now. I'm gonna do the last one, and that's really about it. I promise it's it's easy after you done. I just hate cleaning shoes. Now I didn't clean so many shoes. So Air out of the shoe cleaners gonna be blowing me now. All right, I got to talk to y'all. Certain shoes require like a different time, like ice box time. 
Exactly. Like 11s, I lead them in there. Me and size 11s, I lead them in there the most. I'm just telling y'all this because I, all the trials, I done went through all the, all the shoes, I done messed up. Like grade school 11s, you can't leave them in there too long because like the carbon fiber will start like coming up from like heat, I guess. But, but men, men size 11s, you can leave in that junk like a full 24 hours, I promise. I promise nothing to happen to a man size 11. Um, on fives and sixes, just cause I didn't messed up and like had the ice like bleeding or like dripping onto like the suede. And I didn't cause like some kind of crazy, like the suede literally like it burnt. Like just cause I didn't did that so many times and messed up so many shoes, only sixes and fives in there more than like eight to 10 hours for real. All right. I'm literally telling y'all these times though, just cause like I done messed up. I did the trials just so y'all don't have to go through the trials and lose bread. But yeah, like I said, 11s, I'm gonna probably leave these in there like a, a full 24 hours or probably like 20. Cause it's like, um, it's like three o'clock right now. So if I take them out tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be smoking for sure. You're gonna see like a drastic, I'm gonna try to look at this again. Look at this before again. I ain't gonna come back until like the full 24 is up. You see like that yellow? Just stay tuned. I'ma come back on these two right here. All shoes, they gonna get like the same crazy results. Like these right here, I'm on my second session. Like these was crazy bad at first though. Like these was bad, like orange. These two. I wish I can show y'all like the before on these chunks. Like this just one session though. I'm gonna do them again. But certain shoes like require like a different amount of sessions, like five, sixes. They don't ice as good as me, so I'll be having to do two or three sessions. I feel like 11s, I can just get them done in one. Like these right here, I'm not finna show y'all the before real quick. Hold up. Like, look. And this is what they look like now. Like, this is one session. I promise this one session. Um, These are the bottoms. This is a one session, I promise. On these phones, the way, like I said, these is on. way cleaner but i'm gonna tune back in with y'all when when those the 24 hours up for that all right youtube it's been the next day man let's see what we work with dang they ain't come too crazy blue but you can tell like the price i know y'all seen you remember the the yellow I may do another session for you. Yeah, I feel like I, yeah. Just to get away like these back corners, cause these can go like all the way back icy. This just one day though. When you see like all the sauce gone, like when everything dried up, that mean that it is time to go and take them out. That they are done, like it ain't working no more. Gotta get them back sauced up, yeah. But it's smooth, I know y'all see what it was looking like before. Y'all see the results. We just gonna do one more session. I'm gonna probably repeat, I'm gonna repeat the same process that I just did. Clean and salt. Don't leave no like old residue on the bottom of it. Like make sure you gotta clean it off. So get your soap water, dry it off. Then repeat the whole process. Put the sole sauce back on. Um, paint brush it back down. Um, smooth it all the way out. Then wrap it back up in plastic, man. Repeat the same process. That's what I'm about to do right now. Go and get this joint ready. So I know ain't like the next session just gonna be like a quick session for real. Because I know it ain't too much that need to be done. It's really just the back part for real. Hold on, we'll be right back. Alright, like I said, I just repeated the same process. You can tell I did like a light coat on this one just because I know it's not gonna be too long. It's like four o'clock right now. I'm gonna probably take them out in the middle of the night. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all probably like the after effects when I'm done with all this. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube. So we let the little time spin off for the second session. Okay, okay. The corner got hit good. Hey, small. That's really all we need for real. Yeah, these came all the way back. I see. It wasn't no blue in these. I'm gonna get them cleaned up and let y'all look at like a, a real picture. I just had you.
yeah you to it so this the this the finale right here oh shoot I know y'all seen it before y'all could tell how yellow they were before so we had some crazy results They like new now, uh, even these metallic, these are like see-through. Got the icy blue back now. Um, these two, y'all seen it before on these. These are crazy. But like I said, all results, not the same. Like these came back so icy. Just cause like from age, these weren't like beat up or like worn crazy like yellow. These was a beat up, like crazy worn yellow orange. That's why these ain't had the same like after effects or like results as these 11 right here. As long as the shoe wasn't beat or like worn to death, you're gonna have some crazy results, but you ain't gonna see the same results for pairs that's been like worn or beat crazy. I know they really probably sum up the video for real. Um, I just had to show y'all, give y'all a little free game just to add a couple $40, $50. Because before I iced, like the suit was probably only worth like 100 I think that's what I, exactly what I paid for real. But me being able to ice, I can sell them for 150 160 I know some people that don't even buy like shoes, like. Like beat just because they know they're not gonna clean me. I know I'm gonna clean, so it's crazy. Cause look, the dude I bought them from, he had them at 150. I just, I just know I couldn't sell them for 150 at the condition they was in before, just because my customers like, like real customers, they buy to wear type. But appreciate y'all boys. Um, if y'all don't watch this far, man. I know this is a different type of content for y'all. Appreciate the love for sure, man. Uh, if y'all need questions or if y'all um if y'all had any questions, y'all know just to DM me on my shoe page at Q60. I ain't one of them bougie niggas that ain't gonna respond and just leave you on delivered and like that, fool. Because I remember when niggas used to do me like that for sure. I really ain't gonna say too much, but yeah, for sure. But appreciate y'all, boy. Make sure y'all follow the shoe page at Q60. Make sure y'all um like like the video, man. Get a video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Appreciate it, Chava.